What's up guys? Welcome to today's video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be installing ELS, Script Hook 5, Simple Trainer, and Radiance 5 for your Grand Theft Auto 5 game modded with the LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook mod. If you do not have Rage Plugin Hook or LSPDFR installed, make sure to click that link at the top of the page for the suggested video to go ahead and watch that video first. Uh, and then you can come back here and uh, hit the next suggested video to see how to install a vehicle pack. And that vehicle pack is going to be the Los Santos Police Department pack. Uh, that's right there in my mod list. That one right there. Uh, where I will show you how to install that vehicle pack. It's a very simple ELS pack to install. And, uh, and yeah, that'll show you how to install videos. So, er, videos. Vehicles. <laughs> So let's get on with the video tutorial. The first thing you need to do is uh, download the, uh, the plugins here. So the first things first is we'll go to uh, Simple Trainer. These can all be found on my mods list or lcpdfr.com. Uh, Simple Trainer is at gta5-mods.com. Uh, but this is a beautiful trainer. It's very simple to use as it uh, states in its name. Let's go ahead and get that downloaded. There we go. Taking a second there. So we'll get that downloaded. It uh, is already completed. Lightning fast. Alrighty, and then we need to move on to Script Hook 5. And this is going to be by AB Software Development. You can also Google Script Hook V, and uh, it'll come up. This one is for version .1290.1, .1, uh, which is the uh, current game version as of 12 23 2017 so we're going to go ahead and download that once again it is a simple mod to download you're going to move on to uh, radiance 5 which this uh is what you will need if you are having uh your vehicles not the, the lights on your vehicles are not uh not bright you know uh but very important here uh you need to make sure that your post FX and shader quality in your graphics setting is on high or above. Uh, it's right there. Uh, now you will want to keep this page open because that is your installation path there. Um, so we'll just go ahead and download this. We're going to do version 1.8 I believe is what it said. We are not a robot. Let's go ahead and download. Once this starts downloading, I'm going to just click on the Radiance V so that we can uh, get back to the page so that we know where to install it. And then last but not least, we have ELS, which, uh, where is that? It's going to be in my scripts section. Alt, enter. Alrighty. So ELS. We're going to scroll down. Make sure you read, you know, about the files. Um, certainly always important. Go ahead and download that. We're going to do 1.05. You are going to need 7-Zip or WinRAR to open these files, uh, but you should already have that installed because you need that to open up uh, the LSPDFR uh, folder. So that is done. So we've got everything downloaded, which is uh, wonderful. Let's go ahead and start with Script Hook 5 because that is the... Uh, very first thing you need to install, basically. Um, Script Hook 5 is uh, an add-on that basically allows you to mod your game farther than just LSPDFR uh, with Rage Plugin Hook. So let's go ahead and open up that folder. You're going to go to the README. Now this is just a uh, .zip folder, so you don't need any special program to open it. You, uh, let's see... You're going to go to the installation pad. There it is right there. Uh, in the README, this is all, you know, it tells you the different versions, everything like that. So you're going to go to installation path because that is what we are looking for. And uh, it says copy scripthookv.dll to the game's main folder, which is also the root directory. In order to load ASI plugins, you will need to have an ASI loader installed. You can download it separately or use the latest version that comes with this distribute distrib, dinput8.dll. You must delete your old dsound.dll ASI loader if you have one installed. 
This distrib also includes a sample ASI plugin, native trainer. If you need a trainer, then copy native trainer.asi as well. Now you can install the native trainer from <clears throat> the script hook five folder. I do not use that trainer. I use a uh, simple trainer. So uh, either way, you can either put that one in. You can probably put both of them in. I, I don't know. I've never done it. So, um, but first things first, we need to transfer over script hook v dot dll into the game's root directory. So let's get uh, that open back up. We can actually minimize that for now. Uh, if you don't have a shortcut to your game's root directory, you're going to want to have that because uh, as you're modding, you will find out how easy it is. You're going to transfer. Let's let's get both. Din put 8.dll and script took 5.dll. You're going to copy both of those into your game's root directory. It uh, Yes, it already has it because it comes with your LSPDFR download. And then you need to delete the sound. Let me get the correct name. dsound.dllasi loader if you have one installed. So let's just verify that we do not have that installed. Or that if we do, we can download it. And that is going to be the dsound.dll. So that's going to be towards the top. We do not have one. So... Yep, we just want to make sure. And and that's why you follow the README, because it basically tells you what you need to do. Um, and then if you have native trainer in the folder, um, that was the file that I did not download. That's the native trainer.asi. If you need that, go ahead and install that. Um, or you can use the one that I will be showing you how to install just in a second here, which is actually the next mod we will be installing is the simple trainer. So you're just going to open up this simple trainer. Let's minimize that again. Again, you will need a .rar file opener to do this. And uh, here we go. If you want to skip this part, go down in the description. It tells you where I move on to uh, ELS. So let's get that. And uh, so first things first is uh, you need to get into the README, which is a Microsoft Word doc. And in this, it has uh, everything you get right there. What do you get? Um, it tells you about in-game, bodyguard, ped spawning. Um, basically, what this does is that it, you can spawn, you can teleport, you can change your time, weapons, weather. Um, very helpful. I use this every time I play. I mean, there's nothing that you don't want to. You want to get down to the installation instructions. This trainer consists of two files, trainer.asi and trainerv.ini. You need to copy both trainer.asi and trainer.ini to the game's root directory. That is the same spot you put script hook 5 and the ASI loader. In addition, you will need script hook v.dll and dinput 8.dll. Both can be obtained right there, which we just installed, so you do not need those again. So very simple. Um, you need to just move this stuff over. It's going to be... Let's try that again. Come on. There we go. Trainer.ini and trainerv.asi. You're just going to copy those over to your game's root directory. And then uh, the trainerv... Not the .asi, but just the trainer V is your configuration settings, which you can see right there. It says configuration settings. You're going to want to open this up. Um, this is where you can change anything. Um, it it can train, changes what keys you use to spawn different things. Um, so, again, it will explain to you what the defaults are and, and everything. I mean, it's it really is. Uh, there's a lot there, so I suggest... As you play the game, if you find out that, hey, when I press uh, numpad 3, I don't like that that uh, cleans the car, then you need to change that key. It's that simple. But this is where you would do it at. And then it tells you what key is what code. Um, so it tells you all the keys on your keyboard and what key or what code they need to be able to be uh, used. So, um, But it is. It's a great trainer. I use it... Uh, every time I play. I mean, that's that's the trainer that I use. So uh, that's going to be that for the trainer. The next thing is going to be uh, ELS. Radiance 5 we will do last. Um, so again, you need a .rar file opener. 7-zip is what I use. 
you're going to go to the documentation and you're going to go to the user guide this will have the installation in it there we go uh, and it also tells you the user guide of what you need let's see here that's the introduction um, yeah basically this will tell you everything that tells you you know how to open up the information display panel uh, ELS key lock um, you know light group this basically tells you everything that you need uh, yeah blackout mode steady bird takedowns cruise arrow boards uh, vehicle damage um, it basically tells you what a guide would tell you you know um, so you want to find the installation path, which is uh, what I'm trying to look for. Uh, and again, this does have an I and I file that you will need to that you can change uh, keys. It doesn't have a lot of stuff that you can change, but you can disable your uh, um, controller if you're using a controller. There's installation. Took me a minute. <laughs> I guess it would be at the top. That's where you want it. So, uh, so yeah, here we go. Installation. Installing ELS may be done in a few easy steps. Place ELS.ASI, ELS.INI, and the ELS folder into your main GTA 5 game directory. That is also known as the root directory. That is how I will refer to it because it is the root of your game. You will want to overwrite any older versions of ELS, which at this point you probably don't have any older versions, uh, unless you already possess the following file and it is more recent than the one provided, place the advanced hook v.dll into your GTA 5 game directory. If you do not already have any, download and install pro ELS vehicle models to use with ELS. Launch your game. So that will be in the next uh, video tutorial will be how to install ELS vehicles because um, that's a whole process in itself and uh, so there you go it uh, basically you drop everything in the installation files folder Grand Theft Auto and uh, everything in this folder you are going to copy over now uh, this one is 8-7-2016 for the advanced hook V dot DLL so we're going to want to look for advanced hook v dot ELL, advanced hook, alrighty, so we don't even have advanced hook v dot DLL, alrighty, so that means we don't have it in there, so you just need to bring everything over, and uh, it definitely was not in there because it would have said, uh, would you like to replace, so that is going to be the latest version of the advanced hook v dot DLL, uh, and it's that simple for ELS. Um, the ELS folder is where you will stop, where you will put the uh, ELS files in um, to control your lights. Uh, but that will be shown in the uh, next tutorial. Okay, so once you have that installed, now we're going to be doing Radiance V. Um, and with Radiance V, you're going to. Uh, this is why you need to keep the. Uh, LCPDFR uh, page open uh, because this has your installation guide in it. So you're just going to go back to your downloads. There's Radiance V right there. Let's get that open. Uh, now this is not a .rar so you don't need anything to do that. But this will need uh, to be able to install Radiance V along with if you plan on doing vehicle mods in the future, which if you install the LS, you certainly uh, probably will be. You will need OpenIV to do that. Uh, but the first thing you need to do is make a mods folder inside your Grand Theft Auto V, uh, which is right there. Um, you just gonna add a folder and call it mods. No special uppercases or anything, just mods. Certain, uh, simply as that. So then go to OpenIV. If you don't have an OpenIV, go to OpenIV.com. Download that program. You're going to select Grand Theft Auto 5 because that's what we are in. You're going to do it for Windows if you're on Windows. And uh, there's your mods folder right there. So now there is nothing in our mods folder. So you need to go to Update and then Update.RPF. And uh, let's go ahead and click Edit because that will... Uh, certainly help us 
And then it says that this is not located in the mods folder. So what we want to do is copy to the mods folder. It will copy it very quickly for us. And now it's in there. So you have mods update update.rpf. This is everything you need. Um, and it copies it way faster than Windows does. Um, so then you're just going to do that. Let's back up because I'm already getting ahead of this. Um, go back to lcpdfr.com. You're going to look at the installation here on the files page. You're going to go to update, update.rpf, common, and data. So get back in there, update, update.rpf, common, data. Now, you will want to make a copy of your visual settings.dat. Um, I'm going to delete mine. Yes, we want to permanently delete. Um, because when you install a new file with OpenIV, you want to make sure that you are using uh, the correct one and you didn't just install nothing, that it actually did transfer over. So you're going to go into here, your visual settings, if you want them bright or very bright. I always use very bright because uh, you can always tone it down if you'd like. Um, copy that to your desktop. And then you're just going to take that, hit the plus sign, and you're going to scroll down to that visual settings dot dat. And there it is, right into your game folder. And uh, it's as simple as that, but you got to have OpenIV, you got to have your mods folder. Now that you have a mods folder, now you can install vehicles, which is in our next video. You can hit that suggested video link up at the top right hand corner, and that will take you how to install ELS vehicles uh, in your mods folder. So I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video tutorial. If this video tutorial helped you, make sure to hit that like button down below, and I will see you next video.